Hello and welcome to the Indicator Warehouse. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Falcon Swing Trader. I'm going to be covering the Falcon's components as well as the easy to spot signals and the simple to follow rules for the Falcon Swing Trader. First thing that we're going to talk about is one of the components of the Falcon Swing Trader is the mean Renko bar, which is what you're seeing right here. The next part of the Falcon Swing Trader and the second component is the Falcon Swing Trader line that is right here. The third component is the Falcon Swing Trader filter. If you're seeing green dots, you want to be looking for longs. For a short trade, you want to be looking for red dots. Pretty simple, pretty easy. The fourth component to the Falcon Swing Trader is going to be the sell as well as the buy warning dots. And these have an audible alert. You're looking for the sell or the short entry triangles, the long entry triangles, as well as the short and long entry hash marks, which is what you're seeing right here. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. Looking at this setup right here, I want to go ahead and cover the simple rules. In order for a long trade to be valid, you want to have a green filter. Ideally, you want to have a green bar, a green falcon swing line, and you also want to have a green warning dot, a green long entry triangle, as well as a green long entry hash mark. So it looks like we've got a trade cooking up right here. Let's just patiently wait for our signals and see what happens. Swing. All right, there you heard the audible alert when we produced our warning dot right here. What I'm waiting for next is a long Swing. entry triangle, which, oh, that actually turned to a long entry triangle. I've got my second triangle here. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly place my order here. I'm gonna be placing order it with three pending. contracts. And as you can see, I placed it right here with the hash mark. So let's move that back down. Swing. All right, I am in there. Now I like to give the trade a little bit of room to breathe, so I always use the most recent active pivot, swing. which in this case is right back here. Another thing I'd like to point out is the Falcon Swing Trader is designed for $100 moves or more, and it can be traded with as many or as few contracts as you so choose. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause the video, and I'll be back here in a bit. Let's just kinda let this trade work itself swing. out. All right, well, there was a nice quick Same. move to the upside. I've got a second long signal right here. Buy warning dot, long entry triangle, as well as a long entry hash mark. I'm gonna go ahead and start tightening up my stop. I'm gonna pause the video. I'll be back here in a bit, and let's see how we do on this trade. All right, I am back. It looks like our second target came off without a problem, and we're currently in a runner right now on contract number three. Not bad for the NASDAQ for our third contract there. The second half of the video, I'm going to cover the same simple rules and the same simple signals and setups for the short trade. Okay, for the short trade, it's the same simple rules, the same easy to spot signals as it is for the long trade, only it's inverse. For the short trade, of course, I'm going to be looking for a red warning dot. And in this case, this is a double dot sell. So this trade here, although it's a little bit riskier, definitely a, a strong signal right here. Now we also want to have the short entry triangle like we have right here. We want to have the short entry hash mark as well. And for the arrows, which you can turn on and off if you'd like, for the arrows, this just signifies that you've entered the trade. It's actually pretty handy when it comes to back testing. Of course, I did not take this trade right here, but let's wait and see if we get another signal cook up somewhere in here. After a big move down and a break through the low of the day like we've had here, I think that's probably what we're looking at is another trade to the downside. Now, right now I currently have a green filter, so if the signals were to produce themselves, I would not fight the Falcon Swing Trader filter. Swing. I would wait. All right, well there I've got my warning dot right there. Now all I need is a short entry triangle and my hash mark. Let's be patient and let this trade line up. I'm also gonna need a red filter dot down here. Let's see what happens. Swing, swing. All right, well there it is. I've got my hash mark. 
I'm going to hurry up and I'm going to get this order in real quick and then we'll talk a little bit more about the trade. Order pending. All right, I order am good filled. to go. Wow, I was in there quick. Once again, I'm going to move my stop to the recent pivot. I had my sell warning dot right here, my short entry triangle here, another short entry triangle, and as you saw, I entered in right here on the hash mark. I've got a little bit of room here to the low side of the day, and also you're going to notice on my entry bar, I had a red Falcon Swing Trader filter dot. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pause the video for now, and we'll come back in a bit, and we'll check and see how we do on this trade. Okay, we're back, and we're about ready to take out profit target number two right here. Moving a little slow, and I'll tell you, I'm going to go ahead, since I'm so close to number two, I'm just going to move my stop to the Falcon swing line. Target filled. All right, there was profit target number two. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. My swing line is just below my entry point, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to protect two ticks. I don't want to let a winner turn into a loser. So I'll pause the video. We'll be back in a bit to see how we did. All right, we are back, and I'll tell you, we're looking at a pretty nice number on our runner. I just got a buy signal right down here, and I'll tell you, this is where you can make the choice as your own trader. Swing. You can either continue to trail whatever trailing stop you're using, or what I like to do when I see buy signals like this, after a big run down, I'm pretty sure it's going to retrace, so I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to go ahead and flatten the trade. Order filled. All right, well, I hope you found this video to be informative. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to contact me or anyone at the Indicator Warehouse team anytime. Thanks, and have a great day.